Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for December 13th, 2022. Well, my goodness, yesterday turned out to be quite a surprise for me anyway. It may not have been a surprise for you as the massive speculation came in and really surged the last hour of the day, pushing the Dow up over 500 points. Kind of a remarkable move considering the risk of the CPI today and the FOMC decision on Wednesday, not to mention all of the economic data points coming out on Thursday. But that being said, what happened here? Well kind of an interesting situation and we'll look at a couple of different things but as you can see the bulls they started off really slow it was kind of a slow draggy morning kind of like i was expecting and then all of a sudden the last hour of the day we just ripped to the upside with seemingly a willingness for traders to dive in ahead of these reports and you can see we're trying to extend that here this morning so well one of the questions that we had yesterday is if the bulls will hold on to this price support they did that job now let's take a look at where our resistance is as you can see we're stretching right up to this resistance level right here in the pre-market this morning ahead of that data point now, if that data point on the CPI is good and the bulls can continue to um, push this higher and breach this level, then maybe we look right up here for that next resistance level in the Dow. Um, if they happen to find some bearishness here um, or if that number isn't what they had hoped for, then just keep in mind um we have a we've opened up a pretty big point move to the downside um the potential today for um big intraday whipsaws seems relatively large to me so be kind of careful here if you were um chasing this into the end of the day yesterday um man fingers crossed that that works out for you because there would be significant risk if the number were to disappoint this morning um, so keep that in mind now if we take a look and by the way the dow is the only index at the moment that has broken the downtrend and what was interesting to me is the majority of the activity in the market was centered right around the dow only 30 companies which is interesting to me because we haven't seen we didn't see that kind of wild speculation running into the other indexes um, so kind of keep that in mind could this be a manipulation i don't know but um, i would be a little bit careful now you notice here we had good volume on the diamonds but um, i will show you as we shift over here to the spy um, our spy volume was a little bit on the anemic side we had less volume coming in here than we even saw on friday um, um, as you can see in that selling move um, overall so looking at that chart um, we rallied up nicely here volume was low rallied up nicely we did answer the question whether we were going to hold on to that support but let's take a look here if we look for the next resistance we are close to that next resistance here in the morning gap heading into that cpi report we'll also want to keep in mind that we are also still underneath our downtrend here in the chart so we have considerable upside resistance and if the bulls can find enough inspiration in the data this morning to push on through this resistance point then i would look for an attack up in here um, on that level just keeping in mind we kind of have that double whammy of resistance up there that we're going to have to deal with if those bears find reason for inspiration then what we're going to be watching for is a potential ugly whipsaw here 
that could pull us back substantially and we would look for those price support levels down in here so um, be prepared for some pretty big point moves if uh, this were to play out to the bearish side. If we take a look at the QQQ, you'll also notice that the QQQ was very light on volume yesterday. Very interesting um, prices, uh, price patterns here in the market. But that being said, the question yesterday whether or not we would hold this support was answered. The bulls came in, but we will also have to recognize the fact that well, we didn't quite make it up there to that resistance. And even with the gap up this morning, not quite up there, but we're trying here in the QQQ to push on higher. So keep a close eye on that. If those bulls find that inspiration, I'd look for a test up in here. And if we can push on through, maybe a test right up in here where we have failed a couple of times before. And we will have to deal with this pending downtrend here soon in the NASDAQ. So well, keep an eye on it. Anything is possible here today. But if those bears find inspiration in that data point, look for a pretty painful whips on. Hopefully we hold this price support in the chart. And then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM rallying back nicely yesterday, but what you'll notice here in the chart is that we didn't quite make it all the way up there to just recover or even test the support of our um, breakdown here in the Russell. So you can see we broke that support. This could be tested as resistance in the chart and see failure. So if those bulls find inspiration today and look for a potential break of that level, and maybe a retest back up here in this congestion area and our downtrend here in the Russell. And if those bears find inspiration and we were to fail against this resistance, that could be a problem for us because we would retest this level right in here first and see if that holds. And if that doesn't hold, well, then we move on down maybe to a level right in here or lower. So just be a little bit careful and cautious here on the day. Who knows what this data is going to bring and how the market may react to it. Now, let's take a look at something else that is just a little bit bizarre. While the market was surging yesterday, the VIX spiked. We really stretched out here in the VIX, pushing it higher yesterday, suggesting that as we rallied, tremendous fear was coming into the market. We rallied up to a 25 handle where we closed here on the day. So what that means is, is we have confidently broke this downtrend. We've held it as support, and then we smashed through some resistance levels in the chart here on the VIX seems to be completely at odds with the at price action we saw yesterday. Fear spiking as we chased into um, the market yesterday, or yesterday after the, I mean, heading into the close. So um, interesting, interesting circumstances. I'm not exactly sure what this means because I'm not sure I've ever seen um, a circumstance in my 30 years where there was that much wild speculation going into big data points and having the fear spike at the same time. Um, remember, as the VIX goes up, all of your option prices increase dramatically. So um, there's a lot of risk in this market. If you're an option trader, um, expect considerable price volatility in those options. Let's take a look at our T21. 22. Now our T2122 um, pushed up nicely yesterday. We broke past the 50% area here um, in the chart. So what does that mean for today? Well, heading into that data point this morning, it means that, well, we're kind of straddling the fence. Um, it, it tells us that if we get bullish reaction to the data this morning, we have a pretty significant upside move. And we looked at those resistance levels in the chart above that we could test. But it also says if the bears find inspiration, we just open up a big potential move to the downside or whipsaw in the market if those bears happen to be inspired. So keep a close eye on that if that were to occur here today we're sitting right in the middle of the fence with um, not a whole lot 
uh, to go on here in T2122. If we take a look at our T2108, now this is interesting. T2108, with all of that price movement yesterday, we barely moved up in T2108. Doesn't seem possible to me that that is the, that is the situation, but we did tick up, so I've got to give that to the bulls. We are holding this price support level in the chart. I'm going to give that up to the bulls but I'm gonna be scratching my head at the same time going, hmm, what is really going on here? 58-59% uh, of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. Interesting price action here. If we take a look at our T2108, or seven, T2107 also turned up at the end of the day, but not as much as that market actually would suggest um, that the bulls were really pressing in there. So kind of an interesting um, circumstance heading into these data points today. Again, color me a little bit confused on um, this wild speculation heading into these data points. Was it engineered by the institutions? What What is really going on here seeing that fear spike as um, everybody rushes in to buy. So watch that closely here in the chart. And once again, our T2101, um, I'm not sure we're getting the best of data here in our T2101, because notice what we did here is reversed on T2101, suggesting that momentum has shifted or would be shifting. But again, lower than average volume in most of those indexes. So, um, a very interesting situation with just a tremendous amount of data coming our way over the next several days. Um, now, one thing, what that does tell me for sure is that wild speculation is still alive and well in the market. Now, I'm not sure that's a good thing, considering that the FOMC, the Federal Reserve, is working to squash that so much. But we still have that willingness to chase into risk. So keeping that in mind, what we have coming out here before the bell today is we're going to get that CPI number. Right now it's suggesting that the CPI increase by 3%. Uh, or 0.3%. So you'll want to watch that carefully. Um, they're looking at uh, month over month and year over year, just small declines in CPI. But I want to point out that the PPI number actually missed last week. And well, we know the reaction of the market on that miss. So if we happen to get just a few points uh, 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 of miss in here, we could see a complete um, reversal in this market hard. So be prepared for pretty substantial volatility here in the pre-market. If it comes in good, look for those bulls to just really celebrate. But at, at the same time, look for substantial price volatility as a result. So along with that, we're, we're going to begin our FOMC meeting and we're going to have a 30 year bond auction later on this afternoon to be paying attention to. I'm not sure the NFIB um, small business optimism index is going to matter a whole lot considering the, the speculation, the wildness that we're seeing in this market and probably just be relatively ignored. And then keeping in mind as you plan forward, um, it, now normally I would say we get past the CPI, get past the volatility, we're going to see the market get stagnant, kind of die off, become light and choppy um, because we're going to be waiting for that FOMC. Um, I don't know that I can say that today because the market is acting well in in not a normal fashion if you ask me so watch um watch that closely i think anything is possible this afternoon we also have petroleum status import export prices and those mortgage applications that have continued to come in week so watch that close and yeah, i wish that was the end of it then we still have to get through jobless claims philly fed retail sales empire state industrial production business inventories on thursday that certainly could be market moving as well so be prepared for the next several days of considerable price volatility um, big whipsaws big morning gaps are also very very possible 
let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar for today. Now, one thing that we're getting quite the calming here in earnings, not a lot of inspiration on that front. Um, today, I've only got three uh, companies that really are uh, notable for today's earnings reports. We have um, AMB reporting, keep an eye on, oh, ABM, sorry, ABM reporting, keep an eye on that. You can see ABM's pushing up into this downtrend. We've been rallying nicely here. We did slip past that little trend and we're, we've got this price resistance in the chart. So this will be an important report on ABM. We have uh, CNM reporting looks like we're getting a nice gap here this morning on cnm pushing up um pushing right into that downtrend and substantial resistance in the chart so watch that one close and we have plab plab also moving higher here this morning playtronics um um not playtronics uh phototronics uh, moving up here this morning, pushing into some price resistance, as you can see here in the chart, but certainly in an upside bullish move uh, currently. So watch that closely. Now, one of the um, um, reports yesterday from after the bell, um, Oracle. Oracle seemed to produce very, very well yesterday. Uh, gapping higher this morning, you can see we're going to be gapping directly into a really substantial resistance zone in the chart. So watch that carefully if you're in Oracle or thinking to enter Oracle here today. But that may have a little bit of knock-on bullish effect in the QQQ, which it needs uh, to kind of catch up with the rest of the indexes. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that uh, thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, it helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does uh, do that. I do truly appreciate it. You guys um, humble me every day with your kind words. I, um, I, I can't thank you enough. And um, if you find these videos um, um, willing, uh, good enough to share, if you could please share them out on your social media. If you've noticed, we're 29,300 subscribers. We're pushing toward 30,000. I was hoping to get there by the end of the year, but I think we're going to fall short of that unless um, we really... Um, um, stretch out to some other places here um, and your social media feeds could certainly help that uh, to pump that a little bit higher so with that everyone let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and keep in mind guys that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities as a matter of fact I just think we're gonna have to be really really careful moving forward um, here in the market so never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas be extremely careful um, with the volatility that this week could produce in the market. First off, let's take a look at some of these defensive sector stocks. I got to tell you, um, they're holding in here pretty well. Altria looking really good. Nice little consolidation area in here, holding real nice in that support area. We've seen KHC holding in here, breaking through this resistance, looking very, very good. Um, take a look at utilities. Again, more of this isn't technically the defensive sector area, but one of those areas that's a good, strong dividend paying sector of the market. And so the, I think that theme of rotation into some of these uh, more safe uh, dividend paying stocks may be occurring here in the market. So keep a close eye on that. This is a beautiful pop out of the box break um, to the upside here. And there's a lot of stocks in that sector. If you um, on TC2000, if you just take a look at some of these stocks, 
popping through here. There's a lot of stocks in that sector looking very, very bullish um, heading to the upside. So if you're looking for some dividend yield, if you're looking for some slower um, type stocks that can um, protect you, look at some of those defensive sector areas, maybe over into utilities. Now, having said that, I think we also have to look, there's a few techs out there um, that did a good job yesterday. Take a look at NVIDIA pushed on through while we saw other tech stocks like um, um, Tesla and Amazon not looking so good yesterday. Um, we saw Nvidia pushing back to the upside. So nice little pattern in here, uh, continuing to show that bullishness. Um, what I'm waiting for, I am holding a small piece of Nvidia. Um, I'm looking for this to give me some kind of confirmation that we can deal with resistance levels here in the chart and hold a higher low. And then I'll probably be looking to add to Nvidia. To give you an example of what I meant by some stocks doing well, some not, take a look at um, Tesla. Oh my goodness. Tesla not looking good here at all. Retesting some lows here on the year. We have Amazon um, uh, barely moving up here um, on that move, still in a major downtrend. Um, easily could retest these lows of of uh, the year on that. I think retail may struggle pretty hard in the coming year. So watch some of those um, price um, areas closely. There could be some short trades setting up in that area. The other place is, as you know, I continue to suggest that you watch very, very closely, and that's gonna be in the gold and silver area. Now, gold had a pretty rough day yesterday, pulling back, even though the dollar held it in there pretty strongly. And I think it's just a little bit of rest or consolidation coming into play. You'll notice here in the US dollar holding, or UUP anyway, holding a price support um, in that chart and um, trying to make that decision. Are we gonna continue to move up or are we gonna break that support and move down? So keep in mind, if the dollar drops through that support, then I would look to see gold move substantially higher. Gold has been pushing up nicely here. Nice little upside pattern, nice little resting area here in the chart. Um, watch for that to consolidate maybe a bit more for that opportunity higher. I think we need to keep an eye on copper as well, copper, silver, those kind of things. If we're going to see the dollar continue to drift lower or fall, then look for some support in here. Now, keep in mind, FOMC is largely expected to raise the rates by 50 basis points. When that happens, you will typically see the US dollar strengthen. So, I would be a little bit careful chasing into these trades just before the FOMC decision. If they strengthen, happen to see a strengthening in the US dollar by raising the interest rates by 50 basis points, then we could see those precious metals continue to pull back and consolidate here a bit. So watch that close. What I'm saying is this isn't quite ready for prime time yet. I think there's reason to be cautious, to be cautious, to um, be very, very focused here on um, the price patterns in the chart and try not to over speculate or over trade in a market that's showing quite a little bit of irrational activity um, considering the the um, risk of these data points ahead so with that guys i want to wish you all a fantastic day wish you great results in your trading see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning i want to wish you all the best